Hello friends, welcome to Ranju's Garfield Group. Phew, what a day it has been. Filled with freedom, isn't it? We Indians are all set to celebrate our 71st Independence Day with fervor and exhilaration. India, a power waiting to explode. Indian soil was trampled upon by myriad clans and dynasties. Once known as the Golden Bird, India was crippled time and again by foreigners who left no stone unturned to loot it. Some looted it shamelessly and some surreptitiously. However, India braved the repeated onslaughts with tenacity and is off to become a super power. A nation which is harnessing the power of its indefatigable and indomitable youth. Did India achieve this phenomenal growth by serendipity? No. India achieved the success by the collective efforts of 1.3 billion people. Examples of the Indian tapestry of traditional multiculturalism. India does not belong to any single race or to any group of religious extremists. It belongs to a mosaic of religiously, linguistically and culturally varied communities. So if we all unitedly forge ahead, our nation would become unstoppable. Today, as we celebrate our freedom, a question invariably pops up in the mind. Are we free from thoughts that breed negativity? Thoughts that judge people? Disparage them? Recently, we have seen an influx of uh, vitriolic and incendiary messages, online posts, trolls that resort to body shaming and bullying people. A standard is set by the society to look a certain way. If there are aberrations from these set norms, hell breaks loose. Can't we spread a message designed to challenge these social prejudices? related to physical beauty in society by emphasizing the importance of inner beauty. We may be short, we may be stout, but the rules laid down by the country we never flout. We may be tall and have sits on faces, but we always salvage pals who are stuck in life's mazes. We may be lanky, we may be plump, but there is hardly any friend we have ever doubted. So what if the dark circles are crying for attention? Let's stop this body shaming. The call of providence so mentions. What goes around comes around. That's the law of karma. Showing compassion and love is the call of karma. This is a message for all the lovely men we have in our homes, in the neighborhoods, our friends, our colleagues. We are in the age of Aquarius and it has been prophesied that women around the globe will bloom to the full potential. They will take center stage. They will be the catalysts responsible for our economy to burge on. In many seminars and trainings that I conduct, many participants come up to me and ask me a question that how should we support our wives? My answer to them would be If she is working and has a deadline to meet, oh man, it won't hurt you to leave the door. If she chooses to be at home and makes your home a heaven, oh man, once in a while pack her off to a vacation and see her face glow. If she has cooked a sumptuous dinner for a party at home, give her a title of a gourmet cook and let everyone take a bow. If she has painstakingly raised your kids to stand apart in a crowd, oh man, ensure the kids respect the mother who helped them grow. If she wants to work in the corporate or set up an enterprise, oh man, encourage her to realize her potential and let her creativity flow. Thanks for the patient hearing. 
a very happy Independence Day to all my dear friends. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Ranju's Gobbledygook. Love you all.